Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Mike Rasheed. Here live in Miami at my home, Iron Addicts Gym Miami. Um, this is a special edition today, trainer edition. Um, I want to shout out to my sponsors who sponsored this video, NASM NASM, the most prestigious uh, uh, personal training certification uh, company there is. They are the gold standard. You go anywhere uh, reputable where you need a, a certification, they're going to tell you. You gotta have NASM. So um, shout out to NASM. Also, they are giving a free 14 day trial period. The link's right here. Y'all go ahead and click on that, take advantage of that. Listen, if you're a trainer, take your craft serious. I, if you guys see all of the things that I'm doing, personal training is a very fruitful uh, uh, occupation. It's very meaningful. You build meaningful relationships. You really help people. And you plant a lot of seeds from that hard work and a lot of different things to grow. Like this is one of my, fruits of my labors is my gym and that's just one of them and it all started with personal training so shout out to NASM if you're a trainer take your craft serious all right so anyway I'm not going to get into all the details y'all about to see what it is my man Nick's here he about to get busy I'm gonna put him through some um, some overtraining some power bodybuilding teaching him the basics the basics the basics the basics master the basics all right let's go what's going on everybody it's your boy Mike Rasheed Got a very special guest with me. Tell the people your name. My name's Nick. I'm from uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Nick flew down from Pittsburgh, and he has really cool parents because they bought him a session with me for his graduation. How about that? Yeah, we're gonna kill some chest and arms. To be pretty fun. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah. All right, so uh, Nick wants to do what every 18-year-old boy wants to do: chest and arms. When I was 18, that's all I did too. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna grant your wishes with some overtraining, all right? You ready? Yeah. When I was younger and I first started lifting, I was just, I felt like I was invincible. So I wouldn't even warm up. I would just get under the heaviest weight to start. But I learned that you gotta warm up. So if you start doing preventative things now, from preventing injuries now, you're just, you're training a lot smarter. You know, I used to train like a barbarian caveman. You just gonna do a little bit of a push up. Do a nice little stretch, okay? Good. Yeah. Good. Nice slow. And then squeeze the top. Good. Good. Nick, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do with the young man is I'm going to make sure that you have proper form because you wanna have, you wanna employ proper tactics and proper form when you're young, early. Because you know the term, uh, practice makes perfect? It's not true. Perfect practice makes perfect. So you don't want to get into a habit of uh, lifting wrong, and then you'll get strong lifting wrong, but the stronger you get, you'll be more prone to injuries. You know what I mean? So you want to get the right tactics down, the right form down while you're young, and just keep practicing like that, all right? All right. So we did some warm up, a little bit of stretching. We're going to do a little bit more stretching. This is something I learned from Mark Bell. Uh, shout out to Mark Bell, super training, sling shot. And you pull one arm all the way in, and you stretch out the other arm. So you'll feel the side that you're bringing in. That's where you feel the stretch at. So you just bounce it about four or five times. Bring it up. Then the other side. Come back. And it feels really good. You feel it in your rear delts up a part of your back as well as your chest. I know it doesn't look fine, but you gotta do it. You don't want to tear pecs. You don't want to get a rotator cuff injuries. You gotta do all of this stuff. It's preventative. After the stretching, I have them warming up through the movement. I'm very, I'm really big on warming up through the movement. Um, so I have him press with the barbell. So what he did was this: do what you did again. Okay, how you practice is how you play. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, so basically this is power bodybuilding. So power lifting and bodybuilding, I like to combine because they both benefit each other, okay? So with power lifting, the goal is to press as much weight as possible, okay? The bodybuilding, the goal is to press as many reps as possible to get size. Strength and size don't normally go hand in hand. There's guys that's really good, it's not that strong, and vice versa, you know what I'm saying? So my thing is always not looking strong, but actually being strong. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you happen to look strong as well. That, that's just a ice on the cake. You know what I mean? So I noticed when you came down, you just went after it, right? Feel it. Nice and easy, just go up. Come on, let's go. Drive, keep fighting, keep fighting. There you go, keep fighting. Knock it out, come on. Good, come on. Come on. Drive, push, push, push. Almost there, lock him out. So what we're gonna do now is a working set. This is where the real strength comes from. So we're gonna take a dime off. The dime and move. Come on. Come on. Good. Keep going. Drive. Come on. All the way through. Beautiful. Beautiful. One more. Come on. Drive. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Lock it out. Right there. Lock it out. Beautiful. That's a shabby there, man. How that feel? Good. Take the quarter and the plate off. We're going to put two quarters on. But right now, you know, you know what a fatality set is, right? Yeah. So we're doing a fatality set. Come on, stop. Come on. Uh. Two. Come on. Come on. Three. Two more. Come on. Five. Five. Four. Come on. Come on. Push. 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 Push it up. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Five. Come on. Come on. Three. Come on. Drop, 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 drop. Four. Drop. Come on. Come on. Six. Come on. Push. 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 I got it. Six. Six. Try to get focused. Take a 10 count. Get some water. 10. Nine. Eight. Shorter breaks is five. Drive. Get it up. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, lock it out. Good. There we go. One more. Come on. Come on, be aggressive. Two. Come on. Even when we're doing burnouts like this and somebody spotting you all the way through, you know what I mean? You don't know how much weight you're getting. It's ego lifting at its finest. You know what I'm saying? So I may assist just a little tiny, tiny bit. You know what I mean? But if I could tell you you don't got it, I'm going to just smash it. It don't count. Reset and get you after it again, all right? Did you ever have a, a, a training partner that's trying to like go with you up and down? Like, nah, don't touch the bar, all right? Let's go. Come on. One. Come on. Two. Okay, keep going. Three. Got more? Come on. Come on. Come on. Got some. Get some. Come on. Drop. Get shit up. Let's go. Push, push, push. Lock it out. You right there. You right there. Come on. Drive. Good. Max reps on push ups. Go right into it. Max reps on push ups. Come on. Come on. Come on. You 
can't do a push up, what? Come on. Listen, if you, at the end of your progression, if you could do a bunch of push ups, you're not done. You know what I mean? We go to failure, to absolute failure. Good job, man. Take a breather, we ain't done yet. All right, so right now, I am putting him on incline press. You should always, at least when you're training your chest, you, I don't wanna hear about you training chest and you don't bench press and you don't do inclines. These are the two most important exercises you can do for chest. For upper body in general, bench pressing is one of the biggest upper body muscle builders, period. That fatality set. Yeah. He's struggling right now because he's in uncharted waters. You know, we did a really legit progression on the bench press. Theoretically, he could have been done with just that. But I'm trying to, you got to increase your work capacity, be able to put in a lot of work for a long time. So that's what he's doing. Rock, 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 rock. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Dude. I guess we can say you survived. <laughs> no doubt. So, what you did was very basic, right? See, a lot of, I'm, I'm sure you probably came in thinking, oh, I'm gonna do some crazy over top stuff with Mike, some weird exercises. Like, nah, I'm all about the basics, the basics. You do the basics properly, that's all you gotta do. Now, you know, when, when you build that solid foundation, you can only build it by doing the basics, you know what I'm saying? It's the best thing you could do. But once you've done that, then you could go off and do, your machine presses and all of the other fancy stuff, you know what I mean? But that's secondary and that's way down the line. You gotta have a solid foundation first with the old school movements. I mean, you see it was- Yeah, it was harsh. Even with lightweight, once you get to a certain level of fatigue, it's like, uh, it's humbling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that was up, that's good work, man. You got a lot of heart. And you got, you, you're a lot bigger than I was at 18, so, yeah. you know what I mean? That's a, that's a good look. And you're getting, you learn some, hopefully you learn some valuable things. I didn't have nobody teaching me anything. I was just going in there figuring it out on my own. So, you know, I'm sitting there wiggling all over the place and, you know, just wanted to be strong, you know what I mean? So, no doubt, so how you feel? Tired, but good. That's what's up. Pretty good. That's what's up, man. Now you go to the beach, take your shirt off and walk around all day. Oh, yeah. That nice pump. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Thank you for coming, bro.